Well, one of American history's most famous outlaws, his fans and admirers were hoping for an official action today that would clear his name. As it turns out, that is not going to happen. Legend has it that Billy the Kid was promised a pardon by the governor of New Mexico at the height of his notoriety. And the current governor, on his last day in office, has spoken. So I asked the perfect guy to join me to talk all about Billy the Kid, Bob Bowes Bell, which is a pretty cool Wild West name as well. He owns the magazine True West, and he also wrote a book about Billy the Kid. Mr. Bell, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, you know what, uh, Mr. Bell, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, great. Thank you for being with us. First off, I want to play some sound of what Governor Richardson said in his decision, uh, how he was explaining his decision. This is from Good Morning America. Here's what he said. When Billy the Kid killed two deputies, two deputies, two law enforcement members escaping from the Lincoln County jails, I have to include that in my decision. Accordingly, I've decided not to pardon Billy the Kid because a lack of conclusiveness and also the historical ambiguity as to why Governor Wallace reneged on his part. So Bob, Billy the Kid struck this deal with the then governor, but he went right. on eventually, you know, some events played out of course. He testified uh, in, in a murder that he had seen and ultimately events went on, he broke out of jail, he killed two, uh, I, I believe it was deputies, if that's right. But before we talk that about whether he should or shouldn't have been pardoned, I mean, at this point, so much time has passed. Why does this even matter? Well, it matters because uh, as Americans, we always want to uh, right a wrong or we want to get resolution. And in the case of Billy the Kid, uh, he's uh, arguably one of the most famous people that came out of our territory. There's over a uh, thousand books written on him, 40 movies, so uh, his legend has some clout and uh, I think the governor was very smart to address this and uh, to get us talking about it. So you are intimately familiar with all of the details of how this played out. You told me in the break that you've been kid crazy now for going on 40 years. What do you think? Should he have been pardoned or not? Well, you know, it's, I can look at it from a couple different ways. One is, uh, if you look at it rationally like the governor just spoke there, uh, y y your rational mind has to go, no way. You, you cannot pardon someone who in our parlance is a cop killer. But I, if I look at it from my heart, I go, you know what, maybe we could uh, see a way to pardon him and, and, and forgive. And he really did got to get a raw deal if you really look at the facts. And then the third way to look at it is uh, say, from my you wallet, he, you which is... You say he got a raw deal because he struck, he struck a bargain with the governor, and then what happened? Well, he struck a deal with the governor uh, that he would testify and get a pardon, but I think the raw deal part of it is that he was involved in the Lincoln County War, and this was really a brutal war in which hundreds probably were killed on both sides, and the kid was operating sometimes uh, as a deputy, uh, uh, deputized and serving warrants, and the other side was doing the same. A lot of people think that there was not, not enough law in the West. In this case, there was actually too much law. And so, uh, but the, the raw deal is that Billy the Kid was the only one who was tried and prosecuted for killing someone in the Lincoln County War. And other people did, did just as bad and they ended up to be solid citizens and powerful politicians. And as the kid himself put it, he said, think it hard that I am the only one to suffer the full measure of the law, end of quote. And I think he's right. You said, and I interrupted you, but you said there's another way to look at this about whether he should have been pardoned. Well, yeah, you got the three ways. And the third way is my wallet, which is uh, I'm going to make a lot of money on all, all this attention from the uh, sale of books. And so when I look at it that way, I go, absolutely, pardon the guy. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, and let me ask you this. I mean, everyone knows about Billy the Kid. As you said, there are all of these <clears throat> books, all of these movies. He's been so romanticized yes. over time. I mean, should he be? Should he be held up as this folk hero? This is a guy who murdered a lot of people. Well, yeah, uh, but it's, it's complicated, and, and uh, here, here's basically the rub as I see it, is you have these two contradictory facts, okay? He's a cold-blooded killer. He's the all-American boy. 
He was resourceful, brave. Uh, everyone agreed he was a great dancer, okay? Well, you put those two together and they don't go together, okay? You can't, they're, they're contradiction. And that's what any good legend needs. You need to have this unresolvable fact. And that's why we're still talking about him 130 years later. And he is certainly a fascinating character and one that has fascinated you going on four decades now. Bob Bell, thanks for being with us. My pleasure.